Mr. Schiff. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, Madam Secretary, welcome. Um, about a week or so ago, uh, Madam Secretary, you and Secretary Gates uh, sent a letter to some of the chairs of committees here on the Hill opposing recogni recognition of the Armenian Genocide. Uh, this concerned me for a number of reasons, not the least of which that uh, I don't see how we can have the moral authority that we need uh, to condemn the genocide going on in Darfur uh, if we're unwilling to recognize other genocides that have taken place, if we're unwilling to recognize uh, the first genocide of the last century where a million and a half people lost their lives. Um, we're all well aware of how the Turkish lobby in Turkey has either implicitly or explicitly threatened because it doesn't want the genocide recognized uh, and its own difficulty in coming to grips with the, that chapter of Ottoman history. Um, so I'm not going to ask you about that, but I do want to ask you, uh, is there any, do you have any doubt uh, in your mind that the murder of a million and a half Armenians at the between 19 and 15 and 1923 constituted genocide. Is there any doubt about that in your mind? Congressman, I think that these historical circumstances require um, a very um, detailed and sober look from historians. And what we've encouraged the Turks and the Armenians to do is to have joint historical commissions that can look at this. Uh, to have efforts to uh, examine their past and in examining their past to get over their past. Sure. But I will tell you, Congressman, I don't think that it helps that process of reconciliation for uh, the United States to uh, enter this debate at that level. I just well, don't think uh, Madam Secretary, you, your comments that you think debate, that, that there should be some kind of debate or discussion about the genocide suggests that you have a question about whether genocide occurred. Uh, is that correct? Congressman, I believe that this is something that Turks and Armenians are best to address through their own processes of coming to terms with their history. Lots of people have come, had to come to terms with their history. Uh, yes, and, and Madam Secretary, we have to come to grips with our own history, yes, and we I'm, do. I'm, I personally but, am well but aware of that. Madam Secretary, um, you come out of academia. Yes. Is there any historic debate outside of Turkey? Is there any reputable historian you're aware of that takes issue with the fact that the murder of a million and a half Armenians constituted genocide? Congressman, I come out of academia, but I'm Secretary of State now. And I think that the best way to have this proceed is for the United States not to be in the position of making this judgment, but rather for the Turks and the Armenians to come to their own terms about this. Lots of people are coming to terms with their history. In Asia, in Europe, people have had to come to terms uh, Madam with their Secretary, own history. Madam Secretary, we, we, we have no reluctance. We have no reluctance to recognize genocide in Darfur. We have no reluctance to talk about the Cambodian genocide or the Rwandan genocide or the Holocaust. Why is it only this genocide? Is it because Turkey is a strong ally? Is that, is that an ethical or moral reason to ignore the murder of a million and a half people? Why, why is it we don't say let's relegate the Holocaust to the historians or relegate the Cambodian genocide, the Rwandan genocide? Why is it only this genocide that we should let the Turks uh, acknowledge or not acknowledge? And, and Madam Secretary, uh, Harant Dink, uh, who was murdered outside of his office, is not a testimony to Turkish progress. The fact that Turkey brought a Nobel-winning uh, author up on charges of insulting Turkishness um, <coughs> because he talked about the murder of the Armenians doesn't show great efforts of reconciliation in Turkey. Why is it only this genocide we are incapable of recognizing? Congressman, we have recognized, uh, and the President recognizes every year in a resolution that he himself uh, issues, the historical circumstances and the tragedy that befell the Armenian people uh, at that time, we do recognize it. But I don't, if you'll just allow me, I do not see that uh, this situation is going to uh, get better in the sense that it allows Turks and Armenians to move on to deal with their present unless Ma we are able to let them deal with their past as to the murder uh, that you. Uh, Madam Secretary, because I'm going to run out of time. Well, you recognize more than anyone as a diplomat the power of words. Yes. And I'm sure you supported the recognition of genocide in Darfur, not calling it tragedy, not calling it atrocity, not calling it anything else, 
but the power and significance of calling it genocide. Why is that less important in the case of the Armenian genocide? Congressman, the power here is in helping these people to move forward. After the murder that you talked about, Armenia, uh, Turks went into the streets to embrace Armenians and to say that this is not the way that Turks behave. The foreign minister himself has called into question the issue of arresting people for Turkishness. I do think that there is an evolution that is going on in a Turkey that is democratizing and democratizing before our very eyes and where Turks will be able to deal better with their history. But I do believe that people are better left to try and deal with this themselves if they're going to be able to move forward. We have to ask ourselves, what is the purpose here? And I think the purpose is to acknowledge, of course, the historic tragedy. But the purpose is also to allow Turks and Armenians to be able to move forward. And yes, Turkey is a good ally, and that is important. But more important is that like many historical tragedies, like many um, historical circumstances of this kind, people need to come to terms with it and they need to move on. We've done that in our own country. People have done it in Europe. People have done it in Asia. Ma Madam Secretary, and I think it's the best way to have them move forward together. 